Hello everyone, hello gorgeous, hello keys to queens, welcome to my channel. Yes, today we are starting right inside the bathroom. I am in the kids bathroom, I just finished my shower and I decided to do this. From what you can see from the thumbnail, your girl is shaving her legs. That's my leg. <laughs> but your girl is scared, anxious. I don't know which one I am feeling right now and this is not a big deal it's simply because if you have been following me I told you that I have shared with you guys one of my skin problems which is uh, kelatosis pilaris which is everybody which everybody knows as chicken skin strawberry skin and I also shared with you guys how I cleared that video if you have not seen it I'll leave it up here and the description box so you check it out so now that i want to shave with my research i understand that if shaving is not done well that could cause you more keratosis pilaris and i do not want to have that back on my skin so that's why i am worried i tried as much as i can to do a lot of research and really know the pros and cons on how to shave but i think i have known enough which little enough which i also going to share one of the videos that i think that follows this that shows the step by step how to shave your leg for the first time so we're going to watch that and let's learn how to do it before we start shaving hey there it's faith today i'm going to be showing you guys how i shave my legs i used to get a ton of nicks I could never really get a close shave without a lot of irritation. That's when I figured out I was doing everything wrong. So it's important to know how to do it properly, otherwise you're likely to get skin irritation or even razor bumps. Which trust me ladies, does not go well with your favorite dress. Spend at least five minutes in a warmer hot shower to soften your hair and open up the follicles. Exfoliating before you shave removes dead skin cells that could clog up your razor. So it's important to find a good exfoliating product and make it a part of your pre-shave routine. A great shave starts with a great shaving cream. I prefer to use Cremo because it's designed to fight razor burn and I love the way it smells. It's highly concentrated so you don't have to use a lot. Just apply it to wet skin, lather it, and then apply water as needed. What kind of blade should you use? Well, it's really a personal preference. Find one that fits your style. Whatever razor you choose, it's important to use a sharp blade. A dull blade is probably the number one reason a shave goes wrong. So change the blade often, like every three or four shaves. The first pass of the razor with any shave should always be with the grain. So take a minute to map out the direction your hair grows. Just rub your hand along your leg. Some areas will feel rough, other areas might feel smooth. The smooth areas are the grain, and that's the direction that you want to shave. Be sure to pay extra attention to those troublesome areas, like your knees and your ankles. The direction of the grain is likely to change. For most people, the best way to shave is to use short, and gentle strokes. But remember guys, shave with the grain. Once the first pass of the shave is complete, you can relather. This time, shave across the grain or even against the grain. Just be careful. Multiple passes may give you a closer shave, but it can also cause more irritation. Keep in mind, every pass of the razor removes a layer of skin. This can damage your skin and cause dryness. So be sure to nourish and put moisture back in by using a post-shave balm after every shave. If you have not shaved your leg and you want to shave as well, stay tuned and watch your girl do it. You, you are watching your girl, Cheesy. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good without wasting much of your time. Let's get into the video because, hey, have you forgot? Uh, don't forget, please hit that button, subscribe, okay? And hit the bell icon beside it. That way you stay connected and receive notification whenever I upload a new video. Right guys, I would love to show you the blade which I'll be using today and this video is in collaboration with this guy. This is known as Street Blade and I love this packaging. This guy's reached me out and sent me this 
beautiful blade. I know most of you must have seen this. This is nice. I love the lovely write-ups on your body, your control. Come hang with us at Hey S Read. And so many. This is a vegan razor. And, and it says, is that even a thing? In the pack, you get one solid steel razor, two five blade cartridges and one war hanger okay we're going to open it and we're going to see inside it you have the manual which is going to give you a guide on how to use it insert the cartridge and uh, so many beautiful writers hey sister it's so nice to meet you and also a card as well what's cooking good looking they've got the words honestly in all <laughs> these packages so this is the extra blade five blade and this is the another one um the blade as well in so we've got two of it and this is beautiful it is five blade and from the research they say the five blade is best to do your shaving whenever you want to do it and i love it the way it feels it's very really looks quality and this is a holder as well you can use this to hold it in your top shower or your bathroom anywhere in your room I think this is not looking bad at all and the color I choose they have different colors you can check them out on their website if you really like it I'm just trying to see how this looks and that's that's not looking bad you can as well put, just keep it on the table yeah how about that yeah it's nice so I have to get in the bath after shower in the shower in my bedrooms just to get my leg wet and soak again before i shave just as is instructed on the video that we watch so i stayed in the bath again after shower for about five more minutes and that's when i began to do the shaving just a close view of what my legs look my leg look like before i start shaving i've got hair not that too many hair but I don't think the camera is showing you that much. So I'm really trying so hard to lift my leg for you to see. <laughs> but that's the leg. Now, as it stays, first of all, wash, go in the bath. Next is exfoliating, which is what I'm using. The Lancome Rose Sugar Scrub. This smells good. Honestly, I have this scrub long time. I don't even know how I get it. Maybe it was one of the free kids. When I bought their perfume or maybe one of the skincare because those guys are really good and I decided to use it because I understand sugar scrub is really good but this it smells like perfume and it exfoliates your skin so it says to exfoliate your skin first so I finished exfoliating and now I am rinsing it off so after all my research this EOS shave cream is said to be very good for sensitive skin it has shea butter I'll leave the link on the description box a lot of review confirmed that this is really good if you have strawberry skin or suffer from any skin problem some some of the research I did too said you can use your conditioner but I'm not really comfortable using my conditioner so that's why I go in with my shaving cream which I think i believe and i trust it based on the review so putting this shaving cream on my leg honestly it feels very moisturizing and feels so good on the leg now i go in with the razor and honestly <laughs> i was really scared my daughter was just watching me while i was doing this and she was like mommy what are you doing shave your leg now i said i'm scared now look at my hands now i'm no more scared my hand is going faster and remember that says as you're going you can ladder again rinse the uh, blade while you're doing it i'm following the step remember there is a warning to be careful on your ankle luckily i don't have much hair on my ankle so i have to go gently and so carefully as instructed on that video which is looking good honestly so far so good i'm doing good <laughs> i am going so fast now i have very much confidence you can see the speed on my hand look at this gosh look at her shaving like pro now hey <laughs> now this is another delicate zone which i understand the knee i'm also going so careful i have to go with direction of where the way hair grows on my knee and i did wow i didn't cut myself from my research a lot of people said they cut themselves is either the where they could normally cut themselves is either on the ankle or on the knee but it looks very easy 
The magic is something I don't know, but I'm guessing it could be the shaving cream, which leaves my skin very soft, hydrating, and soften my hair on my skin. Nor the blade that I'm using as well, which has something that comes out, which I'm going to show you guys later, that also helps to moisturize it feels it gives the skin like a very good moisturizing when i was doing it i don't really i can't really figure this out these butt products are really bomb honestly i keep rinsing, rinsing my skin <laughs> while shaving so i think i've done a good job here and yeah still checking now i'm shaving without the cream just water the blade was really doing it awesome even without just water now i finished and i just want to show you guys take a close look this is the leg this leg is not shaved and this is shaved just a close look that's the shaved one here right now yeah did you notice any difference and this is unshaved one you can see a little little of my hair there so guys this is my leg i finished from the shower and i dry it and now put in moisturizer and i'm using the bio oil after shave i hope that works as well bio oil is says to be good but guys excuse me look at my leg look how gorgeous my leg is looking i love this my leg feels so soft smooth silky and even lighting up after shaving oh my god i am going to do this take a close look as well these are also my worry not just chicken skin that i suffer from <laughs> for my skin i also have good number of varicose vein this is what i was being so careful while i was shaving thank god i never caught myself and i love it i must be honest this is really good it doesn't cut my skin when you're shaving you don't even feel you're shaving you know like when you're doing shaving if you move you can see my hand when i was shaving at some point i got the confidence i was doing brum, 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 i'm going so fast this is simply because the faster i go i don't feel it is getting deep into my skin and i felt this look you can see i hope you guys can camera can pick the jelly thing i'm getting here ah oh, substance here yeah? yeah that's the word yes you can see it and that makes your skin even moisturizing more while you're shaving so i was even trying it when i finished with the shaving cream just with water it goes so smooth this is really awesome this is bomb i think if you suffer from bombs or strawberry skins this will be nice i'm going to observe it for a while and see how it goes being the first time at least if anything is going to happen two three days you should be seeing the result but i love this shaving stick i love this blade honestly i love this i love i love 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 the way this shaves honestly it is really beautiful i can recommend this big time if you're the type shave and cut yourself grab yourself this one i'll leave the link below for this if you're interested on this okay that's fine honestly guys i can't stop looking at my leg i can't stop touching look at this oh my god you know me i go too crazy <laughs> yes this is how i feel allow me to express myself don't forget to like subscribe and give this video a like